live stream wood stream welcome to our daily devotions i trust that today's devotion will prove to be a blessing to you well let's look to god's word for some understanding regarding the subject of modesty it's applicable to all of us from the elders to the youngest and all in between modesty well let's look at god's word that's found in the book of genesis genesis chapter 3 and verse number 7. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Of course, in six days, God created the heavens and the earth. God created the cosmos. God created the world. And he adorned the world. He clothed the world with beauty, glory, splendor, and color, and magnificence. And oh, what a beautiful world God created. He adorned his creation. Well, when Adam and Eve sinned, of course, there were ill effects of sin. And one of the ill effects of sin was shame. And when they began to experience shame, they saw themselves differently. Quote, they couldn't bear for God to look upon them, and they could barely bear to look upon themselves. And so they clothed themselves with fig leaves. And so we know that God would come up with a remedy, that God would slay an animal, sacrifice an animal, and clothe them with animal skins. And from that point going forward, we find man clothing himself. But we're not to clothe ourselves just any old kind of way, but rather we're to clothe ourselves in a way that God wants us to be adorned and so our modesty, our suitableness, our appropriateness of attire, of clothing, and of dress must adhere to certain values. In other words, when it comes to fashion and design, they can be wonderful things, and they can reflect values, so on and so forth. But the thing to keep in mind is this, that fashions, designs, and styles, they come and go. They're ever-changing. Though fashions and designs and styles come and go, the values that God wants us to hold to are ongoing and stable. In other words, God wants our attire to reflect appropriateness, suitableness, decency, cleanliness, orderliness, beauty, and so on and so forth. So in other words, just as we give attendance or attention to our soul, to our spirit, so too we're to give attention to our bodies and how we clothe them. So we're to clothe ourselves with the inner virtues of the Lord. In other words, the Lord wants us to clothe ourselves with virtue. And thus, our attire ought to reflect the virtues of the values that we hold to. Yes, fashions and styles will change, but our values remain the same. Therefore, as you grow in virtue, as you grow in your understanding of virtue, then modesty really isn't a problem for you because you're not just simply running to the clothes rack to find this or find that, but rather your virtue, your values are directing you and pointing out and showing you the things that are becoming to the values that you have in your soul, in your spirit, and in Christ. Well, I hope that helps, and if nothing else, let us continue to grow in virtue. God bless you today.